Smoke alarms are essential in your home to keep you and your family safe. However, they don't always go off when they're meant to, and it can be always at really frustrating times. All smoke alarms do feature a hush button to relieve you of the screaming sounds to help you identify the source of the problem and rectify it. However, what happens if you can't reach the alarm? My name is Cameron from PSA Products, and today we're going to have a look at the smoke alarm controller. Smoke alarm controllers like the LIF 6000 THL here allow you to remotely hush a false alarm. They're really helpful because you don't have to get up on a chair or use a broom handle to press the hush button on your, on your alarms, which can be quite frustrating and sometimes dangerous. They're also extremely helpful in situations where you have really tall ceilings or for elderly people who can't reach their alarms. You can put them in a very low position which is accessible by anyone. They're also helpful if you have multiple alarms on your property and when they do go off sometimes it can be hard to locate the alarm that's causing all the fuss. There are two main functions of a smoke alarm controller. The main one is to be able to hush the alarms in the event of a false alarm. So in a situation where you have a false alarm, you wanna make sure you go around to every single room in the property and make sure that there is no real fire and confirm that it is a real false alarm event. Once you've determined that there is no fire, you press the hush button on the smoke alarm controller and all the alarms but the triggering alarm will silence and the alarm that's caused all of them to go off will remain sounding. This allows you to address which alarm might be the problem and then once you've located the problem alarm you can press the hush button again to silence it. Once you've worked out which is the triggering alarm it'll allow you to rectify the cause of the alarm. This could be either cooking smoke, dust, insects, a bit of moisture that's in the alarm. So the best thing to do is take the alarm down, give it a good tap around its sides to loosen up anything inside and give it a vacuum around the edges of the alarm. Ideally you want to be vacuuming around the side here where there's usually a gap in the plastic because that's where anything's going to get inside. Now the, the hush feature will only silence the alarm for about 10 minutes or so so make sure you do all that before the timer comes up otherwise it will go off again. Once 10 minutes is up and it doesn't go off anymore you've rectified the problem and you can put the alarm back up on the ceiling. The Lifesaver LIF 6000 THL is the wireless test hush remote for the Lifesaver 6000 range smoke alarms. So that means it will work with the LIF 6000 DCW, which is the standalone wireless alarm, and it will work with the 6000 and 6000 RL smoke alarm when they're connected to wireless bases. I put in the description below all of the links for these products in case you are interested in having a look at them. Now, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know that you enjoyed it. And if you want more information on PSA fire and security products, subscribe to the channel for more videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have a great day.